change your boring title from this to this. In Film Order 12. Hello, I'm John, and this is Fun with Film Order. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use 3D animated titles. Titles can make your video look great or not so great, so choosing the right one is very important. Let's look at this title as an example. This could be used as a movie trailer, but not for a comedy video. But this title would look great at the start of a comedy video. Film Order 12 has numerous free 3D animated titles that you can use straight away. Let me show you how to use them. 3D titles can be found by going up to titles on the menu bar, going down to titles and clicking on 3D titles. You'll notice that some have little diamonds on them in the corner. They are for paid subscriptions and some don't, they're the free ones. If you don't have a paid subscription, you can click here and choose free and that will show you all the free ones that are available to you. If you can't see this view, you can click here and change it to large thumbnail view or medium or small, whichever suits you best. I prefer the large view. You'll also notice that some of these don't have a background and some do. So for example, if we chose this one to view, it has a particle effect background. If you chose maybe this one, there is no background. That means you can add your own background to it, which I'll go through a little bit later. Let's just view a couple to see what they look like. That would make a great cinematic movie film type trailer. That could be a nice opener to maybe a tech video. That would be good for this time of the year, seeing this is nice and cold. <laughs> and another one for this time of the year. Merry Christmas. As you can see, there are plenty to choose from, even if you don't have a paid subscription. If you do have a paid subscription, there are even more to choose from. And some of them are really, really cool. And even though they are presets, you can change some of the properties, which I'll go through shortly. Okay, let's go back to the free ones. Let's choose one without a background. So for example, that one, I'll drag it onto the second layer of my timeline because this one has no background. So we can actually add a background below it. So I'll just go to stock media and I'll drag something to put behind it. See what it's like. I'll make this title longer to stretch the length of the video. And now I'll just play it and see what happens. That looks quite cool. Let's try another background. We'll delete that. Let's see what this one looks like. That's a bit shorter. So I'll now drag the title to match the length of the clip. Go back to the beginning and play that. That looks really cool. Okay, let's check something else out. Let's delete both of those. Go back to our titles, 3D titles. And let's choose one that has a background already on. For example, the cold one. Let's drag and drop that onto the first layer because that already has a background with it. And let's play that. That would make a really good video opener. Okay, let's have a look at the properties of this 3D title. To do that, double click actually on the 3D title itself. That brings up all the properties. You see the top one here, under the titles 3D basic, is the word cold. And we can change that underneath to whatever you want. I'll put very cold because it feels a bit more like that at the moment. 
Okay. And you see the second one down is the actual video layer. So you can delete that background video layer if you wish. And then use your own background. I'm just going to undo that because I, I like that background. So I'm going to keep that one. Once you've done your text, you can change your font to whatever you like. I'll just pick one very quickly. That will do. You can change the size of your text font to, again, whatever you want. 190 is a good size, actually. Or you can just drag in the corners and that will resize the text to fit the screen if you want. You've got options underneath to change the position to vertical or horizontal and we can change it to italic. I'm going to keep it as the basic one. I quite like that. Underneath you can see we have the 3D material presets and if you click this little down arrow here it opens up all the presets for you to choose one that you like. So for example if we choose one of these it changes the text but keeps the background. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, very nice. That looks very nice. Again, have a play around with some of these. They look really cool. I think Phil Moore have done a great job of creating these 3D animated text. They look really nice. And let's try this green one, see what that looks like. And we've got to try the Christmas one. Very festive. I'll just go back to a white one, I think. That looks good. I'll just play that one. Yeah, a bit sparkly, that will do. Okay, as we scroll down further, we get the option of changing the scale, which we did before, by clicking on and dragging the corners. But we can also do it from here. And we can also change the position. X position from left to right and Y position up and down. I'll just reset that. We can go even further into changing this text by clicking on advance. This now opens the full advanced tab. You can see the top layer here, very cold, is the text itself. And by moving this bar allows the text to come in quicker or slower. So for example, it came in quite quick there. We drag it right down there and play it. You can see it comes in a lot slower. Around about there look good, if I remember. Let's just check that. Yeah, that looks great. Let's look at what else we can do here. On the top left, we can add more text if we want to by clicking on quick 3D text. And that adds a new text layer. We'll put that at the top above it or we'll move it up further by clicking and dragging. And you can change the text here as it states. So I'll just change that to It is very cold. Now when I play it, you'll see we have the new static text at the top and the animated 3D text underneath. Now the reason why that is static and not animated is because we haven't applied an animation to it yet. So make sure you are on that layer. Click on animation and let's change that animation to, let's have a look. That looks quite cool. Let's try that one. And you can see now that it's added the animation to the text for you. Let's play that. Great, that looks good. So with the three layers that are on here, the two text layers and the preset video layer, we can change some of the properties on them. So for example, on the text layers, we can change the presets. We can customize the text and make the alignment wherever we wish it to be. I'll just drag that up as well so you can do it manually. And you can also change the animation. You can change the animation in and you can animate it out. At the moment, you can see there's no animation at the end there. So let's do the top one and just change that to that one. And you can see a new animation has come in there. Let's just play that. So that should now animate out. And there we go. 
And again, we can do the same to the second piece of text where it says very cold. Click on that and do the same animation out. Let's play that, see what happens. It comes in, two different animations, and then goes out the same. How amazing is that? Really, really cool. Looks brilliant. You can also do some of the property changes on the video background. So for example, you can change the animation on that if you wish. So for example, let's use the boom animation. So let's play the animation from start. Did you notice the background animation? So there are plenty of options in the preset to actually change it to fit more what you need. You can also, in the top left, add different shapes. So let's add an arrow, for example. Click on that. You'll see an arrow has appeared here. I'll just move that down. I'll just make it a bit thinner and, uh, and longer so that we can see it better by clicking and dragging. You can change the text here by clicking on Customize. And I'll just say, I'll just call that Arrow. And what we can do now is we can also change the fill color of this. So for example, I'm just going to change the fill color to maybe a, a blue. Now it doesn't stand out very well that really. So let's change it to a yellow and then I'll change the actual background shape fill of the arrow. I'll change that to maybe a red. There we go. So let's just play that, see what happens. So we now have, a, have an arrow. You can also animate that by clicking on your arrow layer, going up to animation, and let's make that come in from the bottom. So let's play from the start again. There we go. So you can see there are plenty of options to be able to customize these titles more to your liking. Let's see what else we can do. You can also add an image if you wish. So let me just choose one. Okay, let's try the Filmora logo. And you can see that's added it over the top because it's the top layer. I'm just going to shrink that down by double clicking on the logo and dragging the corners and I'll add that over on the left hand side just here I'll move this one down a fraction and I'll animate that logo using the drop one animation effect so let's see what that looks like So you can see there's a lot more to the 3D titles than just having words. You can add images, you can add shapes, you can animate the background, you can delete the background. Basically, there are so many options, you should be able to find something that's suitable to you. Okay, let's have a look at some of the other options in the menu bar. If some are greyed out, that means you can't use those on the layer you are on. So for example, if I click on a text layer, I then get options of changing the text, the size of the text, the vertical or horizontal alignment of the text, making it italic. If you had more than one line of text on one layer, you can change the line height by changing the arrows up and down, or you can, can just move from left to right and that will change the line height. I'll just change that back to zero. You can also change the text space by again dragging left and right or using the up and down arrows. I'll leave it as it is. And you can also arrange the objects. So for example, this logo I'll make bigger again and you can see it's in front of the text. If you wanted that behind, you could send it backward or send it to the very back and it goes behind there. That's why you can't see it. To get it back, we will click on the logo layer and choose bring forward. 
that's brought it before that layer as you can see it's moved up bring it forward again it'll move up a layer so it's now behind one text and in front of the other text bring it forward again and it's now the second from top layer if you created your own 3d animated text by changing the presets and the properties and you're happy with it and would like to use it in further projects you can save it as custom in the bottom left click on save as custom give it a name and then click OK so let me show you where you would find your custom animation you've just saved let's click on apply to close that window and click OK to close this window and if you go to titles mine and custom this is where you'll find your preset that you can drag and drop and use it on any other project you wish and there it is okay I'm just going to delete those two I've created and there is another way you can create 3d text not a 3d title but 3d text and that is by going to the text tool and clicking on quick 3d text once in there you will see you have a standard text animation to be able to edit the properties double click the text clip and you can see we have something similar to the 3d titles properties we can change the text there to whatever you wish that's obviously way too big so I'm going to change the font down to something that will be a bit better and I'll just drag that to make it fit the screen and you can see that's actually changed the font size as well and I'm going to change that to this lovely little Christmas one now this has a black background so that you can put a background behind it if you wish and to do that you would need to move your 3d default text clip onto the second layer so we can add the background behind before we add a background let's see what we can do with the properties on this clip double click the 3d default text you created and apart from changing the 3d material presets which we've now done to say Merry Christmas in a lovely 3d Merry Christmas font we can also change the position by using the X and the Y scale I'll just reset that and we can also change the 3d animation at the moment you'll see this one is highlighted and that's how that animation looks but if you want to change that just click on any of the other ones and you will see it will actually change the animation to the ones you're clicking on okay that looks quite cool there's some really good ones I'd suggest going through all of them because there might just be one that looks better than the other one and better for that type of text okay the 3d fly down let's leave that one we can also do an animation out by clicking on one of those and now you'll see that when it plays it zooms out as well that looks cool on here we also have another option to do advance and again we get a lot of the features as we did with the 3d titles so again you can make your own 3d text and make your own 3d title by adding a background there just really are so many options you can add change and play with it really is great fun having to play around with them so that's how you can create your own 3d titles and 3d text or you can just use filmora's preset ones They've made a great job of already choosing some great colours, fonts and animation. And I've used their standard preset ones in some of my projects already and they look great. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click on like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, now go have some fun.